Millie Ma, Millie Ma, what it do? It's your man 9 million. I'm back with another vlog. Another day of not getting in no dollars. I know I ain't seen y'all in a while, man. Seen y'all in about a week. Y'all ain't seen me in about a week or so. I did just drop a video yesterday, but that was from about a week ago. I haven't vlogged since then. Uh, take a look y'all I just want to fill y'all in on what I've been, been having going on I ain't really felt like vlogging I ain't even gonna lie to you man I ain't been in the best of moods and uh just going through the motions of you know this this whole move is getting situated if y'all remember if y'all remember correctly there was stuff all up in here this was all full this was all full I had my plants and stuff over there and this was all full. For the most part, I got everything out. For the most part. And got it all, all loaded up in the garage. So we took took everything from the truck and this trailer right here. Remember, this bad boy was taller than me. All full. And by the way, I didn't do my receipts or nothing from the trip. But I did keep track of my MPG. And... I got about 14 miles per gallon on this whole trip. And I was with that truck sitting low in the back and that trailer packed in full heavy. 14 miles to the gallon, over about around 1800 miles. I don't think that's bad. Cause I was doing 16 miles to the gallon when I was in, in town in San Diego. Driving in town and um, on the E-Way. I was getting about 16, a little over 16. So 14, I think, you know, fully loaded them many miles. I think that's pretty good. But whatever. Uh, what else I had going on? So, yeah, we took everything off the truck and the trailer. And we had it all up in here. We had just, I said, to about here. All the way down. And it's about as tall as this, this wood thing. I ain't getting no footage of it, but that was pretty much everything that we had in the house. We just took it out and kind of put it in the L shape here so we can park the car here. The OG, um, they, they car is jacked up, man. That's been down for for some weeks now, if not months. Don't look like that's getting fixed no time soon, neither. So that allowed my old lady to be able to park her car here in the garage. And um, say, say, how long we been here? I think we got here Monday of last week, so about a week week and a half a little over a week coming up on a week and a half and that's how long it's taking me to kind of clear this out a little bit this is um getting a pile started for stuff that we're gonna get rid of and do like a garage sale or something i got my workout equipment over here along with some books my old lady's hair stuff um i'm glad i kept this chair because my grandma really likes it she really likes it, uses it every day since I've been here. Um, so that's all I got to show show y'all out here. I'm not going to do a crib walkthrough just yet because we still do have stuff everywhere. And I don't think that would be a good representation of the house. So I'm going to wait, hold off on, you know, showing y'all the crib, doing a crib walkthrough at a, uh, at a later date. Keep that crack, man, because it's hot in the mud, man. We in the south, baby. It's humid. But, uh, yeah. So, I took, so once, you can see this leads to the garage. So, like I said, we had everything up in here first, in this little L shape. Boom. And then my grandfather said, we can, uh, it was a bed in here. There was a bed here. Boom. All the way across. But we took that down. And he said I could start putting stuff in here for storage. So I did. But I was just slowly going through stuff. Stuff that we want to put in, in, the, in the back storage unit. Which you can kind of see here. Where most of the stuff is. You can see this here in the video. Um... Got my bicycle here, all kind of boxes and the totes and bins and stuff that I don't use on the regular that we ain't gonna be using on the regular. I'm putting it back here in this uh, backyard shed. Um, 
So that's where all that stuff is. And then we also got stuff inside the house that um he he told me where I can put other stuff. So all the stuff that's in his back office and all the stuff that's in the living room and the kitchen goes into another room. So that's going to go in the back. And I won't have to worry about that. Um, oh, yeah. Then the bedroom. The bedroom's still coming together. Definitely not, not where we want it to be yet. But I've been able to do all of that, man. I've been uh, packing stuff away. Not packing stuff away, but loading, getting stuff off the truck and the trailer. Getting it into the house. Going through stuff. Getting it situated as for what we keeping, what we not, what we selling, what we going to put in storage. And at the same time, i also been calling and doing my cold calls. I'm trying to get a new carrier, man. I, I was talking to this guy yesterday. Um, everything was seeming pretty go pretty good, but I wasn't able to get him loaded. But I think he liked my work ethic, so um, hopefully I can get that that signed packet back. But he, I reached out to him today. I ain't heard no reply. Um, I made a bunch of calls today and yesterday, but I ain't really really got nothing to report to y'all on just yet. Uh, what else? I can't do no lift or no goop, no lift. No, uh, I don't know why I said lift. I ain't did lift in a minute, but no uh, go share, no dollies. I can't do none of that stuff until I get my license switched to out here. Um, I tried to get everything switched over, but they got back to me and said I need to get my driver's license, registration, and insurance. And on top of that, you know, I am a business owner, so I got to get my business um, established here in this city or in this state, I should say. Once I get that established here in this state, then I can close close the business in, in California. But I don't really have no money, man. I ain't going to lie to you. See, I'm trying to do this with very little cheese. It was, a, it was pretty expensive to drive out here. And it's expensive um, to get everything switched over, man. Everybody want money. Everybody want money, G. And. I ain't been able to earn since I've been here. I've been here about a week, going on a week and a half. And I'm just living off the money that I had saved up and that I hustled up before I was able to get up out of San Diego. Lightweight think I think we should have stayed a little bit longer, man. Stayed on the hustle. But that's neither here nor there. We didn't know. Um, I just didn't want too many days go by and me not vlog, man. I ain't really feel like vlogging today, honestly, but... I need to get out of this little rut. And I'm in a new city. I had new surroundings. I got the same old bills and shit for now. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think what else. I really got nothing else to report on, man. I'm going to go ahead and start putting some more of this stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting more of this stuff away. And I, I probably got about an hour or so before I get back on these cold calls. So, mm, I think that's it, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and scroll through. Uh, this is a, a lightweight vlog. I ain't doing nothing. It's kind of more informative. Let y'all know what's going on and what ain't going on. And ain't a whole lot of working going on, man. I got to get myself situated so I can get to the cheese. But that's the reality of making a cross-country move like this, man. Shit. I may have to get a job. Shit. I may have to go ahead and clock in somewhere until I can get, you know, get all my shit lined up and get to earning. I can't even do no massage, man. I got to I gotta get my, um, I can on the low if I can grab somebody, but I can't advertise and get out there on the, um, the websites and the apps and stuff with massage or the driving shit until I get my licenses and um, you know my professionalness <laughs> for lack of another term right now my brain is all over the place but I gotta get all my professional stuff in order before I can actually work for real out here I can't even go get a massage job did a change of address 
I got a lease. I need a couple forms of ID. Um, yeah, a couple of forms of proof of address. That's what I need. I need proof of address before I can get a driver's license or or anything. So that's what I'm on, man. I'm waiting on that, and that's it. I think that's it. If it's anything else, I'll pull the camera back out, but it's probably not. I'm going to get to work. Thanks for being part of the journey, y'all. Peace. Team with Millie's Hauling and Logistics Services today. 619-724-8717. Maximize downtime and stay focused driving while we find your loads and negotiate rates based upon your personalized business criteria. Visit milliesholland.com or dial 619-724-8717. We negotiate our fee with the broker so you get to keep 100% of your RPM.